Hello class, and welcome back to Magic Effect. So for this episode, we'll be finishing up some side quests that we got and going back to the Citadel. Yes, I know, we already spent like three episodes, well, two or three episodes there, but yeah, we'll be going back, and then you'd be surprised, there's like five more side quests, it's ridiculous. And so, yeah, we'll be doing those. Feel free to just entirely gloss over this episode if you're not interested in side quests at all, because this episode we will be doing nothing of any kind of non side questy importance. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Let's head up here and open up the door. So I went ahead and sped up bits, including the galaxy uh, mapping bits, because really it's mostly just me looking around for the place where I'm supposed to go and then looking over everything, trying to find it. Message coming also in, Commander. Times Big I think. surprise! The Alliance needs you again. Whoa. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Mean An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Eta Cluster. Yep. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. Yeah, it's the one I'm already on. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. But ba ba look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That <gasps> compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. How permanent of a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Okay, now let's scan some more planets. Check for asteroids. There we go. Survey. Survey. Thing here. And it's on the moon press drop. So there's Liara. There's something interesting I just noticed. All the specialist characters are female, and all the dual wielding characters, so to speak, are male. Not sure if anybody else has noticed that yet, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Okay, so we are going on another planet exploring adventure. Wow. Oh, even on even on 3x speed it's still kinda of dull. Oh well. Ooh. Oh, that looks really good on her. Okay. So let's check in here. Uh, yeah, okay. Explosive 3 as opposed to 1? Yes, please. Uh, shield battery. Yeah, I need some shields. Take armor plating, and you are good with armor plating. Okay. Let's go this way. Because climbing mountains is fun, and also ridiculously tedious. fun to watch at 3x speed, actually. Uh, vroom, vroom. Oh, hey, it's a wrecked mining vehicle. That's kind of interesting. Okay, you can pause and read that if you really want to, but there's... Uh, nah, you really don't have to. Okay, so I highly recommend, before you enter any, like, major, like, possible diplomacy side quest, you put all of your points into charm, you should always be putting the maximum amount of points into charm as much as possible. Now I say this from personal experience, because this, I actually managed to fail somehow, because I didn't have enough charm points. Well, not necessarily fail, but I didn't get the solution I wanted. So it's very, very important to invest as much as you can into charm options. So yeah, that that's that's an important thing. Um scan a mineral deposit before we get into the nitty gritty of the mission. It's always a nice idea just to scan everything. We're probably not gonna finish any of those long stretching side quests, but Well, I don't know. I guess it's just nice to pretend we're making progress. You really don't have to, it's not this necessary. This is a private at all. sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. 
Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. Oh, there's a the jerk. Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. You'll meet... Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed this or not, because I certainly have. All the sound seems to be coming in mostly from the right side. And this really bugs me. I don't know, it's probably just a problem with my speakers. They should, you guys probably shouldn't worry about it, but... In case you've noticed and you're wondering, like, What's that, Arabellus? I wonder what is causing the problem. It, it's just prob probably a problem with my speakers. It's just picking up a little weird, that's all. You really don't need to worry about it too much. But I really should find a way to fix it. This gets really, really annoying when you're wearing headphones. I mean, if you have, like, speakers or something, you're fine, but... Headphones are becoming really common, and... It's just so annoying when it's just, like, mostly coming in from one side. It's just disorienting, and I hate it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's enough about my speakers. <laughs> yeah, this way... Open this. So it turns out we were in the wrong building the entire time. <coughs> because I is smart. So it turns out we're supposed to go in this one. Yes, this makes sense. I'm really glad I sped these up. This would be so boring if I was doing this normal speed again. Oh. Okay, there's some things. Oh, fusion explosive, I like that. That's, uh, in case you didn't catch that, you probably didn't. It's, uh, it's a poison explosion. Which is awesome, because it is awesome. Because poison. I am Major Kyle. I know oh, why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Because what happened I'm to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. Ooh, religious zealot. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. Good send them it was back. necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. You can still get out of this alive, Major. Surrender and nobody will get hurt. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. Oh, that charm option there. A charm option would let me like convince this guy and get out without fighting, but you're not leaving me much choice, Major. <sighs> I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die. Well, that was uh Heads up. That was remarkably sudden, I guess. I don't know. He didn't sound all that vehement to me. I guess maybe he was quiet. Hide with the barrier. No. I believe I can fly. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go back this way. Uh, see, I have three charm points available. I really need to invest in those. <coughs> I'm glad my party members are auto leveling. That would be ridiculously tedious. There's any loot back here still? No, I don't see any. Okay. Whoa, I'm still mega sprinting. And Ashley is down. I should probably get her back up. But oh well, it's only like two points. It's really not that important. I will destroy you. Lift him. He hit the ceiling and died. <laughs> okay. I mean, it might have been Tally, but I doubt it. This way. Nope, didn't catch him with a lift. Or, yeah, it was a lift, I think. Stasis, did they use a stasis there? Whoa! Still alive? What? 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 How am I still alive? Explain! I should have revived my party members and then healed. That would have been much smarter. 
Oh well, you get what you get, I guess. How did I survive that? I was getting a little worried, like, oh, I forgot to add out one of my deaths again. And then I survived, and I'm like, what? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so two of the party die. now has green health bars, which are really annoying because they stay running around the combat. And whenever you look at them, you see that pesky little green health bar, and you're like, ah, oh, I just want it to go away. Okay, return to the Normandy and activate the map. That's what it means, anyway. Activate the map, and we'll finish off that side quest, and then we can head back to the Citadel because I really do not want to start another like main story mission until we have a full video to dedicate to it. Because those main story missions take forever. I'm not kidding. Okay, so just activate the map. Let's head back to the Citadel. Uh, just so you know. No, never mind. That's just right. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We never like to see civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. The news vans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Heck it out. Yeah, so the Citadel, the fan thing. Um, whenever, uh, whenever Conrad moves, um, he, he shows Message up every time in. you go back to the Citadel. Patch it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Okay, so that's our next stop. After, of course, talking to Conrad another time so we can finish that off. <laughs> screen, epicish looking cutscene, passive de germification barrier, I don't even know this one. that's what it's called, but I like to call it that because it sounds funny. Doc! So in case you're wondering why I haven't taken time to talk to the uh, crew, their dialogue only actually changes after yes, you finish commander. a story mission. Carry on, President. Yes, sir. So... You really only need to take time, take time to talk to the crew after you finish a story mission. And trust me, you do want to take time out to talk to the crew because that is important. It's like half of the game. You can be on side quests and that kind of stuff. They all have their own little personal side quests that you can do. I miss out on a whole bunch of those. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, Definitely. Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Let's learn a bit How's about How's the Joker? Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't <laughs> pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm -hmm, and it stuck. 
Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Brolic Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? I, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. So I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I have to go. Alright, see ya. So, now we know about Joker. And his little secret. So that's interesting. Dream Team, go! Okay. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That looks like a smiley. <laughs> oh, more dialogue. Yay. Tin Hut! That is. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSB Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the no, 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Charm option. Oh, I, I agree, sir. Right now. But I don't see what my crew can do about it. That's something you fix in dry dock. No, Commander. That's something you get right the first time. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Oh, we can fine. loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? <sighs> the simple fact is, I'm also part of the Council's chain of command now. They expect a joint effort. I'm providing one. The Council expects a whole hell of a lot from the Alliance, Commander. They better start giving back real damn soon. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? <sighs> oh, that, that, uh, that one looks funny. Yeah. None, sir. Very well. Your opinions have some merit, Commander. I'll take them into consideration when I write my report to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard. I really need sharp points. Oh! Sharp points! Oh, <laughs> that took forever. 
Ugh, I'm still gonna find options I can't use, aren't I? Oh well. Oof. I'm about to get two more side quests just by going down an elevator and walking forward two feet. It's great! It is. It's great. Going back to the Alliance Citadel. Officials fun. have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle and his cultists refused to surrender and were killed in the resulting firefight. That was me. I did that. That was me. I did that. Yeah. I feel accomplished now. Don't see any quest markers. Okay. Of course, you haven't gotten any of the quests yet. They really need to fix that Mass Effect 2. I, I, I haven't actually played that yet, so. Yeah, I'm funny story. Sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindwar. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. Ooh. She's been a slave for the past 13 years? Is she alright? Not really. She's a little... messed up. She got free somehow, grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh... she says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to... Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. So guess what we got now? Now this is our specific side quest based on the background we chose. Now that is interesting, isn't it? Because we chose the background, we get this specific side quest. Now isn't that something? Aspect really I've heard here. some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. That green health bar on Tally that annoys me. Ah! I'm annoyed. Okay, feel free to skip this next, but it's really all just me being touchy-feely and a lot of dialogue. I'm almost certain you won't be interested in it at all, but no, oh, it's there if you want to watch it. I'll put up an annotation to skip it. Commander, if I forgot to see you, let me know. Because wish it were under better yeah. circumstances. Where is she? Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I, I I'm just doing my job, Commander. I hope I don't need it. Tell your men to stand by. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Begin the dialogue. Stop! Stop! What are you... What are you? My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. <laughs> the Masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents. What did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? No, she's no good. Don't want to be handled again. 
That doesn't sound good. What's the last thing you remember from Mindwar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know. She hopes they'll leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they'd go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. See? How did you get here? Do all the dialogue options. Escape? Pick the charm option that we can't set. escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. She tries to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. You were afraid. All you'd known for 13 years was the master's abuse. So you tried to heal them. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. Stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide. They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's... He's melting. Shh. She doesn't want to see that. Don't make her look. Don't look. Stupid, stupid. I know it hurts, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. The masters beat her when she wastes water. So she doesn't think anymore. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light. Melting. Going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her, and the masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? I was on Mindwar. My parents died in the raid. Lying? You get hit for lying? Get the buzz or the burning? Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. For a while, I was broken. I lost my whole family, Talita. My friends. My childhood. I had to pull myself up and keep going. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Now we just do that a lot until we can get close enough to get the sedative. She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Um. Please don't touch her! She's dirty. You'll catch it. Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? You'll dream of a warm place, and when you wake up, you'll be in it. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... me. But she wants to remember. Okay. 
Okay, that was a side quest. <laughs> yeah, for all of you that skipped it, it, welcome over, back. Commander? She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just when I see her curled into a ball and shivering. She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? To make people who do these things pay. It's not the severity of punishment that deters crime. It's the certainty. So we clean up the wreckage, shoot the guilty, and hope everyone else learns not to mess with us? Great. I'll take care of it from here, Commander. Okay. That was the longest dialogue I have ever been in. Ever. <laughs> okay. Green health bar is still there. Oh, I hate it. Take it away. Yeah. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Ooh, that was me. I hope to do that. Hey, all these elevator announcements are reflecting what I did. I feel so special. <laughs> oh. So I finished the elevator ride, then I think we head to the markets. Yeah, we head to the markets, then we can uh, finish up this session's Conrad Werner dialogue. And uh, yeah, okay. So step out here. Commander Shepard? Ooh, who's this? Police have been seen in Aljolani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Ooh, boy, life What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. <laughs> and Life TV, go! Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With Hi, that Mom. in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for Better my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says that Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Okay, that was a dialogue. <laughs> okay, let's head to the markets now, and then we can finish up our dialogue with Burner. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Okay, that's weird. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> 
Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Oh, good, he has a wife. I was getting a little worried there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's run over here and... Ooh, this dialogue's pretty funny, actually. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't tell you. What? Sorry. There's a whole bunch of those. Whenever you show back up in the markets, those two are always arguing. Apparently the guy bought something and is trying to return it, but the train won't let him because he doesn't have proof of purchase. <laughs> it's great. I just sit there for days listening to those guys just talk. Of course, you have to like, leave the Citadel and come back every time or something, but no, well, it's still funny. I don't see any side quests, but I know for a fact that one is right here. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. Ooh. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. See? That's what you ha that's what happens when you do all the do all the uh, in investigate options. It just takes forever. I mean, it is interesting to hear all about all that stuff, but it can get boring if you're not interested in the dialogue. I'll try to I'm avoid those from here on. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe Inside I can help. Side quest. Mm, well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay, that was a side quest. I don't think there's anything else down here. Yeah, now I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we actually are missing a few of the side quests. So we spend the next episode finishing up the side quests that we do here, that we get here, and then we'll probably spend the video after that coming back and seeing if we missed any. Or at least I'll, like, film it and then maybe delete it if there isn't any. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. 
One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Okay. So I respit up this bit because I'm really not doing anything for a while. So, go back to the embassies. Run up this way. Super Speed Shepherd, go! Brrrr. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? No, I thought you had a I came on my own. I need information. No, I don't. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, now let's talk to that Nasana Dantius person. Right over here. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The Spavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't Ooh, contacted no. me since. I've Who made knew? a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. Oh, good. I was worried. I need worried. you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Oh, was, hey, so there wasn't a side quest there. It's pretty kind of pretty good sweep, I guess. There is a few things I've missed, though. I've got four side quests. I'm not gonna finish those. Now, I sped up portions of the video, so already I'm like a 50 minutes or so on my recording timer. So I'm gonna just head up here, plant the bug, and then turn in the quest and call it a day. Bull oh, chipmunks. Inconspicuous location, plant the bug. Okay, now we're done here. You run back down. You can imagine how long this must take is like real time. This is 3x speed. Okay, uh, Presidium, Citadel Tower. Turn around and talk to her. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. 
I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Ooh, she sounds excited. Okay. I think I'll call that a day because there's all these quests that we're definitely not going to finish. Let's head back to Seasec, up to the docking bay. Okie dokie. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sure it's so fast. Let's put those little... Message okay. coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, that's all for this video. Class is dismissed.